I was at a protest last Sunday night with the Maritime Union. They were there and their local chapter lead got arrested. I was there. <laughs> yeah, so was I. Yeah. So I think they are trying, but I think on the whole, the Australian public are not doing what they should be doing. Our government is not supporting ceasefire resolutions unashamedly where we should be boycotting Israel. We should be doing everything we can as a democracy to promote humanity, really, in every way we can. Yeah, absolutely. Did you know that um, it was actually Anthony Albanese that started Parliamentary Friends for Palestine? I did know that. I've had relatives who have been protesting for Palestinians since the 1960s. One of my dad's cousins lectured Albanese at university and he attended countless Palestinian rallies for peace and look at what he's doing now. I'm ashamed to have voted for him. I'm ashamed at Penny Wong. It's just, there's, there's no right to be killing children in the way that they're doing. I can't believe I'm Australian. I'm embarrassed. It's shameful. It's really tragic. It's, it's absolutely disgraceful that the Australian government, you know, Albanese, Benny Wong, I was a member of the Labour Party for 20 years. I resigned back in 2020. Yeah. I'm glad I did, you know. Um, but it is absolutely disgraceful, the Labour Party. I don't know what they stand for anymore. Um, but Albanese, Penny Wong, the rest of them, mm. where are they, you know? it's um... Exactly. So um, I've been supporting families for Palestine. They've been protesting since the 7th of October outside Albanese's office in Marrickville. Now they have a 24 by 7 vigil. Families, kids are there, people are there, and Albanese hasn't visited them once. Next Saturday, uh, people are going to be do door knocking in Albanese's own electorate to promote awareness and so that people in Albanese's electorate can demand that he comes out and listens to them because when you stand there at that vigil, cars are going past, people are walking past saying thank you, bipping their horns, supporting the Palestinians. So why hasn't Albanese come and talk to these people? It's disgraceful.